Next up. Yeah. Next up, we have uh, Vince Martell is going to play for us. Vince was in a uh, big time rock and roll band back in the late 60s, early 70s. And, uh, I know a few people in this room might be old enough to remember them like we do, but uh, <laughs> but uh, Vince played with Vanilla Fudge for years and uh, still does. They still play around and do stuff, but uh, but just like the uh, luckiest and the most blessed among us, uh, Lord grabbed him and saved him as well. Amen. And now he's playing for the Lord. Amen. Again, like us, got to be the best thing that's ever happened to him. It's the best thing that's ever happened to the rest of us. So, uh, take a minute and get them set up, and then uh, we'll get a real deal. Mm -hmm. One, two, one, two. Thank you, George, for having us. And thank you, everybody. How about another nice hand for the, for the guy that was just on? Yeah. Give his attention. Give his attention. Give him a round of applause, this guy. <laughs> and yeah, the first guys that were on, that was you oh, and George. Yeah. Very nice. Give them a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just have to have a sip of my Vasa, the Lord's drink, water, which is beautiful for you, right? It's great. Better than soda. Don't keep drinking that soda. Don't keep drinking that soda pop. The world will have you drinking soda pop, and if you this goes wrong, that goes wrong, then uh -huh. you yeah, keep, keep right. it diluted right. with the water. The Lord knows. Got uh -huh. the answers. <laughs> to, to the Lord, to Jesus, the Amen. wonderful Lord. Amen. 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 Salute, you got it. Uh, by the way, this is my wife, Peg Perel, over here, is going to be doing some singing with us. We're going to do one or two songs, and then we're going to bring Joey Brennan up. Give Joey a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joey is the reason I got into the Vanilla Fudge, because of Joey Brennan. Wow. Because, uh, you want to hear the story a little bit? Yeah. I'm not going to do too much talking. You're going to say, this guy talks too much. Don't no, 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 no. <laughs> That's okay. Talk about it. We don't think that way. Anyway. I uh, was playing, I was in the Navy, I was in the Cuban crisis. Oh, wow. That's before Vietnam. For everybody that yeah. thinks they were old because they were in Vietnam. Yeah. I was in before them guys. Yeah. Anyway, I came up from Florida because when I got out, my folks moved from the Bronx to Florida. So I went to Florida with them because otherwise you're going to get out of the service and you're going to let me start asking my aunts and uncles in the Bronx, can I live with you guys? And I'm yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, I went to Florida and I played music down there for a couple of years. And then when I came back up, I bounced around with a couple of bands and I gave my card to an agent in the Union Hall in New York City, 802, 52nd Street, the, the uh, 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 Roseland Ballroom. Wow. And they used to have all the big bands play there in the old days. You know? and, uh, the card got to Joey, and Joey gave me a call. The next thing I got into the, the, the Pigeons, which was with Joey, we were with the Noise of Pigeons. We had an album out, a, a nice album. And then uh, shortly after that, uh, we uh, became changed the name to Vanilla Fudge. Joey went out to California, and I think he had enough of them guys. I tell you, hard guys to deal with, so he had enough of them. I stuck with it, and then we got this other guy, Carmine, and we ended up getting a beautiful record deal. We had great behind the scenes management, and uh, they pushed us all to the top, like, you know, so we want all the TV shows, Ed Sullivan twice, and everybody, Joey Bishop, Murray Griffin, Mike Douglas, uh, but I'm not gonna do too much more talking because I realize my voice, I'm talking too much. Uh, but uh, I just want to tell everybody also that I was just on the Mike Huckabee show. Wow, wow. So yeah. let, me, let me grab a drink. Nice. Hey, that's great, man. Yeah, you can go to YouTube uh, May 8, 2021 to put Huckabee's jukebox and really? Vince Martell. You'll see him. That's awesome. Nice. So you dig it? So this is what you gotta do. Yeah. Huckabee's jukebox, May 8, 2021. 
Vince Martell. That's not my real name, that's my stage name. You wanna know what my real name is? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm starting to use it now. Now I'm signing Vince Martell, but then I put my real name after that, which is, as my father would pronounce it, Marte Mucci. Oh, okay. So, you know, I'm Italian from New York. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Oh, really? You couldn't tell. Anyway, yeah. anyway check out the Mike Huckabee yeah, thing. Because, will. Yeah, okay, good. All right, I guess we'll do a couple of songs. Otherwise, I'm going to keep talking. They're going to say, please, no, don't bring this guy back. No. <laughs> First song we want to do is something that we love the Lord, and by the way, I'd like to say, I am still playing music in the secular world, but I try to bring Jesus to that world, and I, I, I'm glad I'm able to do it. In fact, I just we just got these shirts made, the Brotherhood of Jesus Christ. Wow. Uh, there's a whole story behind that, and in the back of the shirt, we have a, a, a biblical scripture. scripture. So I have one, we have to, we just got these shirts made, this fellow uh, uh, that uh, I ran into, he's into the Lord, and he just made up a bunch of shirts, and I'm playing, by the way, I'll mention this other thing, at the Havana Club in New Hope, Pennsylvania, we're playing there Sunday night from 6 to 8 p.m., and uh, so we're gonna have these Christian shirts for sale. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you slay them with the Lord, you know, bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in. So that's what we're doing. We're going to bring Jesus to everybody because time is at the end. We don't know when he's going to come back and say that's it. So we want to get as many people to be aware of Jesus. And that's why sometimes I wear the Brotherhood of Jesus Christ motorcycle ministry vest when I do vanilla fudge gigs. Because if somebody is going to die, let's say, okay, maybe the last thing they should see is the name of Jesus Christ. So they think of that and ask for forgiveness if they've been in the wrong direction. That's oh, yeah. it for their whole yeah. life. So that's what I'm trying to do. So, uh, anyway, we're going to start with this one soon. Yeah. We'll do a few songs for you guys. Right. I didn't check to see if I'm in tune, so hold on one second. Close enough for rock and roll. Right? <laughs> for the Lord, the Lord. You know, it's funny, even around the tune, the Lord, just, he'll make you be in tune with you, know? Can't beat it. The best, best thing that ever happened to this world is Jesus Christ, right? The, that's the best thing that ever happened. I mean, look, we got the future to look forward to for forever. I mean, how cool is that? Because yeah. this one goes too fast, and it's a shame if this is it. Uh -huh. You know, that's why people are trying to grip. No, no, no. Go for the big one. Don't yeah. store up. As Joey told me the other day, we were talking on the phone. Store up your treasures up in heaven. Amen. Don't store them up over Amen. here. This one's flying by. Amen. Amen.
gonna do one more song, then we're gonna bring Joey up to accompany us on the last two. But we're gonna we'll do one more first, Joe. One oh, more. Yeah. One more. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I'm used to just doing it as a duo. But I, I gotta keep my mind focused, otherwise. Yeah, yeah. You can share whatever you want tonight. So Yeah, all right, thank you. Share you. whatever you want. Again, like I don't want to, you know, hog the show. No, brother. Okay. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> We're okay. All right, good. Uh, let me see. I got to remember the beginning of this thing. <laughs> <laughs>
But we always do interviews, Vanilla Fudge, whatever. I just try to remember to mention Joey's name because they want to know we got started. And in fact, it's funny because when I was on the, the Mike Huckabee show, uh, he asked me about how the Fudge got together originally, and I mentioned Joey Brennan's name. Joey's on TV. So when you see that TV show, <laughs> yeah, it is here. And, and Carmine, who's a great drummer, who works for us now, I didn't mention his name because, to mention. because uh, uh, Huckabee asked me some other stuff after that. I mean, never, I, I never got to finish the story. So, but, uh, oh, man. so Joey's the guy that you're going to hear his name when, when we talk about uh, Huckabee's show. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to ask you to Good thing for I'm a set list. I didn't bring a set list. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Our pleasure. It's great to, to play for the Lord. And I got to give you guys a round of applause, man, for myself, for what you're doing when you guys are playing for, for the Lord. And like, That's beautiful. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He gave us the music. He gave Amen. us the talent. He, yeah. he gave yeah. everybody everything yeah. that we have. Yeah. And some yeah. people don't, don't want to thank him. I mean, what's the matter with you? Everything you love, he gave you. Food tastes good. I mean, everything. He gave us. Kittens, puppies, everything. You yeah. want to thank him? Come on, what are you, crazy? <laughs> Try to save, bring as many people to heaven as possible. Amen. Get out of here. Amen. Yeah, got it. Amen. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's right. The bad yeah. signs are going around. This world is getting too crazy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. This is a song that Vanilla Fudge did, but we re rearranged it. For that. Oh, happy day. 
just the song if you don't mind, okay? It's a, but it's a nice song because it has a nice message. Uh, should I tell everybody what it is or keep it a secret? 
I want to give it a safety. But it's a nice, it's a, nice, it's a good message. It's, it's nice. But everybody should, who has children, would would like to do. And uh, so what else uh, I want to mention? I'm just waiting for the water because I'm killing a little time until the, the water shows. No story. No jokes. Yeah, let me see. It's another good story. <laughs> I have my, I have a book here that I, thanks to Peg, you know, I, I'm from the Bronx, so I don't talk like yeah. properly, let's say, uh, you know what I mean? I wasn't really, I didn't like school, okay, I'm not, not afraid to say that, didn't like it, uh, because I never got in, interested in it, in the reading, you know, when you're a kid coming up and you're growing up, oh, thank you, but give this lovely lady a round of applause. Oh. <laughs> You're not, the world is intriguing looking. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, right? so there's so many interesting things. So who wants to get that and read uh, black words on white paper? Who cares what it's talking about? It ain't as interesting as the rest of the stuff I, that I'm checking out. So I didn't really care for school. I never really applied myself, so I did, didn't do good in it. And I didn't care. But I mean, I had, I had some good, a couple of subjects I was good in, like uh, lunch. <laughs> Sounds like me, I get that. <laughs> Other than studying, it was, it was pretty good. Let me have a sip again to the good Lord and thank you. Amen. You're blessing us, thank you. Oh, thank you. The Lord blesses us all, all the time. Amen. You know how many people in the world realize yeah. what the blessings the Lord gives us. Like, you know, we have one of those books, uh, the, the Jesus book. What is the name of that? Sarah Young. Uh, Sarah Young. Oh, Jesus Calling. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Calling. Calling. Yeah. Jesus Calling. Jesus Calling. We have this book, and every day we try to say the saying in it, you know? And it, it really hits home. And it's, he makes the beautiful sky and the clouds and the birds fly and all this beautiful stuff. People take for granted. They're going to go again to their world. But in the meantime, he sets you up to for wonderful feelings. Mm. I mean, the cool colors of the blue sky and. Mm white clouds and the animals running through. In fact, the song I played on Huckabee's show, it talks about that a little bit. It talks about the animal kingdom and how nice it is for them to run free. But right now, let's get back to this other song that I said we were gonna do for you guys. So mm -hmm. let me see if I can Amen. remember how this one goes. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself here. So That's why I'm in the bands. <laughs> I'm the collective memory. Yeah. <laughs> The Lord brought her to me. I said, that's it. I'm doing whatever the Lord wants for me. Amen. Amen. It's too wonderful. It's, uh, it's yeah. it. Yes. Blessed is he who finds a good wife. Oh, Amen. man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So I was, I was on the wrong road a few times in my life, also kind of like, it's easy to go down. This girl entices you. Yeah. Like candy, you know. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Stop following all the... Yeah. Oh, man, if the Lord brings you around, though, you know, it's beautiful. He brings you around and keeps you... You know, I went to Catholic school and all that stuff too, and like you were saying before, I didn't didn't learn a lot about Jesus or that much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they talk about a lot of stuff, but they don't really get to the meat and potatoes of the The Pope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. Jesus is the that's what I try to tell people. Yeah. I said a prayer for a guy yesterday, a friend of mine on the phone. This guy's a keyboard player down in Delaware. I don't know if you want to hear this, I'm talking yeah. about this yeah. stuff now, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hurry up, you can't keep moving, right? Well, no, no, let's hear, story. Let's hear, let's hear story. Anyway, this guy's, uh, he's been playing all this stuff. He was a music teacher in school. And I got to, to, to know this guy because of a, a conglomeration of, of, of events that down in Delaware that we ended up going, this lady used to have a brunch every once a month in her house in Delaware. I mean, all her friends would bring all kinds of food. And it was, uh, it was early for me. It was like 12 o'clock they started. <laughs> but I made myself get up because they had they had a lot of money. And then, then people would play music there. And the yeah. musician. Then this guy was an accordion player, keyboard player. But anyway, he's telling me that his wife is having uh, surgery uh, the next week or something, a couple of weeks or something, because her back, you know? 
So I tell him, I says, listen, man, you know, I told this to Mark Stein, the organ player in the Vanilla Fudge, he had back problems. And I said to him, why don't you try, before you go for that surgery, because to me, I mean, I, I don't know if there's any doctors here, I, I'm not gonna insult them, <laughs> no. But, you know, doctors are probably do wonderful things, I'm sure they, I know that they do. But there's also sometimes when they'll, they'll talk you into this, that, and now you got it. But anyway, so, that, so anyway, Mark Stein had a back problem, and I said to him, get an inversion table, hang upside down a little bit. Yeah. You can't go too long because the blood goes to your head. You gotta yeah. watch out for that yeah. too. Yeah. But enough to take the pressure <laughs> off your back, yeah. off the small yeah. of your back, so that <laughs> you, you pull the your vertebrae yeah. apart a little yeah. bit. You get a little and taller. Right? Yeah, get a little breathing room there. Yeah. And if you do that, so I anyway, suggest that he do that to tell his wife to, to try that before they go for the surgery thing. Just give it a shot. And so, so then I said, would you like me to say a prayer for you? You know, I, I don't want to say, Put your wife on the phone too. I mean, I know this guy. I don't know that well. I gotta tell him what to do in his house. But I think I'll say the prayer with him, and I did. And I got a lot of that from you, Joe. To say okay. the prayers, right? We do that. We talk to each other on the phone. I say a prayer for Joey at the end of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Prayer for you. And he says prayers for me sometimes. I think the Lord wants us all to do it. Amen. 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 Pray for Amen. each other. Amen. Prayers are strong. A lot of people don't know it. Some, I think they might maybe the strongest. One of the strongest, if not the strongest Amen. thing in the right. universe. People yeah. don't realize it. Because, Amen. Anyway. Iron sharp and iron. Yeah. Amen. I'm telling you. So it's, anyway, so we'll, we'll do the song. <laughs> and like I said, I can keep on talking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did answer that question a little bit, right? What happened with that guy? So hopefully they get the inversion table and give that a shot before they go for the other Amen. thing. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Thanks, and we had a great time. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thank you, John.